Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing good. Today we are going to see the most requested tutorial of this channel. In the previous tutorial we have seen how to secure API keys in NDK through Kotlin language. Now in this tutorial we are going to see how to secure API keys using NDK in Java language. Watch the tutorial with your notes because in this tutorial we are going to secure our API keys in just four steps and we will also understand all the code in detail so tutorial become bit larger but watch the tutorial till end and if you like the tutorial then subscribe to our channel and do support quickly see what is ndk and why we use ndk so ndk stands for native development kit it is a set of tools that allow us to use c or C++ language with Android. So we can write the code in C or C++ language and we can fetch the code in our main class. Now let's see how NDK works in layman language. Now when we write our code in C or C++ language and build the code, so code become a library. And when we import this library, and we can use the method to fetch the code. Now, why we require NDK? First of all, I use NDK to secure my API keys. Whenever we create the API files to publish the app in Play Store, we get the code from the API by performing reverse engineering on it. So, I use NDK because the native file becomes the library and it cannot be extract from the apk second point we can build cross platform application using ndk it means app which runs on android as well as on iphones third point app runs faster now native code run faster than other so our application become faster so these are the basic advantage of ndk and generally all developer use ndk to secure their API keys. Now let's move to our Android Studio and see how we secure our API keys using NDK. I assume that you have not done all the points and if you have not then take your notes and note down the point because we are going to explore NDK step by step and you can easily remember while implementing NDK. This is the most important topic as per the interview. So please note down the points. If you want to know interview questions and how to answer the interview questions then comment below. I will surely make the tutorial on it. First create a new project. Make sure that you have selected Java language. Step 1. Create the Jenny folder in our main directory. First change the view to project view. Now under src folder right click on main directory and select new. In the new tab select directory. Here we have to enter Jenny. Now step 2. Create 3 files under Jenny directory. Now to implement NDK we require 3 files. First is android.mk file. So right click on Jenny folder and in the new tab select files. Here we have to specify the name and hit the enter button. Now here we have to paste the code. Now in this file we have to understand two things very carefully. First local module. This will specify the module name and second local src file. This will specify the actual file. I hope you have understand this file. Now we will create second file name as application.mk file. Here we have to paste the code. You can find this code. Link is given in the description box. Now ABI means different Android device use different CPUs which in turn supports different instruction set. Now each combination of CPU and instruction set has its own application binary interface. It means ABA. So this variable is used to specify the ABS whose code should be generated by the build system. By default, 
the build system generate the code of all non deprecated abis now we have to create third and main file name is api keys dot c here we have to simply paste this code now step 3 link our c file to gradle right click on our api keys dot c file and select link with gradle here we have to select ndk build and here we have to specify the path of android.mk file now sometimes it takes more time or i can say that this is the main part where you get the error because we have to specify the ndk path but in the upgrade version of android we just have to specify the ndk version in gradle file like this if you get the error then comment below or dm us on instagram step 4 write get key method in the class file where you need the key so we will create the function in main activity so write public native string space get keys and below this we will write static system dot load library and in this bracket we have to specify the library name which we have written in the android.mk file now this will source the error because we have not implement this method right click on it and implement the method so here we have to write the api key and now let's display this api key in log let's run the code and see the output if you like our tutorial then subscribe to our channel and do support if you have not written the points then i have written it in the description box so here we can see our api key thank you guys for watching this video don't forget to like share and subscribe stay tuned